What is going on friends? My name is Mark Denny and today we're talking autumn colors. Specifically the fact that they just don't last very long. Now um, I love fall time just as much as anybody, mainly because of the cooler temperatures, college football, and the explosive, brilliant fall color. You know, it just, it, it seems like it comes and goes so fast and you're lucky to even get a, a full week of peak color. So being able to time that from a photographic perspective is kind of challenging sometimes. So this is a great approach to apply to your images that you've taken really at any time of the year. It works really good for the images leading up to fall or just after the fall time to just kind of give it back that uh, vibrant punchiness of the autumn time. The first step in this is, you know, of course you want to upload your photos and post them into, you know, Lightroom or whatever photo editing software you use. And you want to go through your basic edits. So your white points, your black points, your highlights, your shadows, whatever it is, you want to get it exactly how you want it and then go ahead and transfer that image over into Photoshop. Now, once you have everything in Photoshop, um, as you can see here, this is a, uh, a spring oak tree. So there's no autumn colors in this whatsoever. So the first step is we're going to go ahead and create an adjustment layer and come over here to Channel Mixer. Where are you, Channel Mixer? There. And you wanna make sure that your output channel is set to red and then we're going to reduce the red channel down to roughly around minus 50-ish. Now, the, the values that I use right now, you definitely wanna, it depends on the image. So you wanna kinda of move them around a little bit and play with them. These are just kinda of basic guidelines you can follow. And then we're gonna take the green channel, we're gonna move that all the way over to the right to plus 200. And then whatever you do to the red channel, you really want to do a similar treatment to the blue channel as well. So we're going to take that down to about minus 50 also. And that's it. We're going to change this blending mode to lighten. And as you can see, that already made a huge difference. Now, if it's a little bit too much, of course, you can lower the opacity a little bit. We'll take it down to right around there. And that looks good. Now the second step, we're gonna add another adjustment layer, but this time we're gonna select selective color. And we're gonna come up to the top. You wanna make sure that the color channel is set at yellow. And then we're gonna take the cyan color and we're gonna reduce that to right around minus 66. And then we're gonna do the similar treatment to the yellow side, but we're gonna go with positive 60-ish. And that is it. So between the two, you can obviously see a huge transformation. I'm going to take the opacity of the selective color layer, and we're going to bring that down a little bit as well. So this is the before picture, and this is after. Now you'll notice that the green grass also received the same color treatment as the tree, and we don't really want that. Now grass does change color in the fall time, but not quite as brilliant as uh, leaves on trees do. So we want to try and remove a little bit of that coloring effect. So we're gonna to go to the channel mixer layer. We're gonna add a layer mask to it. Make sure your layer mask is selected. We're going to pick a medium sized brush. Maybe like right around, yeah, not quite a thousand. Maybe that, that looks good. Soft brush, change the opacity to right around, right around 50 and a flow around 50, 46%. And we're just gonna just paint across this, just taking a little bit of that yellow out of the grass. Maybe take another pass here, just to make it a little bit more realistic. And of course, you can get extremely detailed and granular with this and spend as much time as you really like. But as we toggle the layers on and off, you can see that really only the tree was um, heavily affected and honestly that's what we want affected with the um, the treatment as well so um, easy to do super simple takes only just a couple minutes let's actually do another image here so now this is an image that was taken i think maybe about whoa not that much like a, like a week before peak color you know i'm in north carolina so we don't get massive amounts of uh, fall color but we get a decent amount but we're gonna do it to this image as well. So we're adjustment layer. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker this time. So adjustment layer, channel mixer, reds down to around 50, greens all the way up, blues right around minus 50 also, close, 
blend mode, switch to lighten. And look at that difference. Total, total transformation. Gonna adjustment layer, go to, oops, sorry, selective color. Yellow channel is selected. Cyan down to minus 60, yellows 60. And look at that, what a difference that made. We'll just lower these opacity of each layer just a touch. But look at that massive difference. And in this scenario, you don't have to do any kind of um, layer masking or painting any, any effects or removing anything. It's uh, my wife. <laughs> so it's a lot easier this way. So that's why I was saying it, it works really good on images that were taken, you know, leading up to the peak of fall color or a little bit afterwards. So um, I'll talk about this effect on and off so you can see the difference. But this is a great approach. It's super simple to do. I have a blast playing with images like this. So it's, um, it's, it really kind of extends from a photographic perspective, the amount of time that you have to make autumn looking images. So um, hope you found the video entertaining and informative. If uh, you liked it, like it. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.